right, so we're in the drive through. We've ordered online. So here we go. Welcome to KFC, what would you like? Can I pick up um, order number 5804 please? Not a problem. Traveling here. Thanks. Thanks. Traveling here. Traveling here. Traveling here. Traveling here. Traveling here. Traveling here. Alright, up to the window pretty quick. Let's go. Thanks mate. Pepsi, hold up mate, I'll have to put it in there. Fine. Hopefully these won't be long, you'd think they wouldn't be. You should be sitting there warmed up. But maybe not. Great mate, thanks a lot. There you go Charlie. And actually, and surprisingly, they feel a little weighty, don't they? Well, let's go and park and try our Zinger Pies. I should have brought me some tomato sauce. Oh, well. All right, everyone. So we've done it, the Zinger Pie. I didn't really feel like doing it. Um, I've seen it before. It's not a new product. It's been around and comes and goes um, for a long time. And it's never really done anything for me, but I thought, hey, we're a food review channel, so we've got to f do the review on it. And a, a number of you subscribers, thank you out there, have asked for us to review it. So we're back at KFC again two weeks in a row, but never mind. We're going to try it and let you guys know what we think of it. A lot of you have probably already tried it, um, but here's to it. Here's nothing. Let's go and try it, Charlie. Let's have a look. So $5.95 each, and I do know you can get the chips and the pie for 5 bucks before 4pm, 4, 4 but guess what? It's after 4pm, so we couldn't do that, and it doesn't really worry me to spend that extra dollar on the one item and not get the chips um, because I really want to try it. So for those of you who don't know as well, um, in Australia, pies are a big deal all year round, but particularly in winter. Uh, different types of meat pies, usually beef, uh, beef mints or ground beef, if you want to call it that, in a pie, in a rich gravy. That's just the basic pie. Um, very popular. You have tomato sauce or ketchup, as you'd call it in America and uh, England, on the top of it, and away you go. And it's it's this looks no different. In fact, it looks very much like a traditional Aussie meat pie from the outside, doesn't it, Charlie? Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. The Zinger pie, there it is. And I'll tell you what, it's damn hot too. And one thing about pies, you need to be really, really careful because if you go and bite into these straight away, you will burn the hell out of the roof of your mouth. The absolute hell out of it. Damn you! I tell you, so that's it. And that's what it looks like outside of the foil tray that it's in. So the bottom here is is softer and the top is like a puff pastry like any pie and it's got a crispy sort of texture about it you can hear it there and it's a little bit harder and that's where obviously it's baked but it does seem like it's got a fair bit of weight in it um, for a pie doesn't it charlie but let's have a bite be careful mate remember what i said about burning your mouth so be careful let's have a try of it oh yeah So you can see some filling in there and it's sort of separated. I'll just, on the glass, separated a bit from the actual crust. So I'll have another bite and see if we can get some of that filling. That's where it's going to be hot. I've already steamed the windscreen up with this pie. Mmm, yep. That's a bit better. Oh, yeah. There it is there. So you got bits of Zinger chicken, pieces of Zinger chicken in a gravy inside and what am i tasting at the moment well nothing much other than it's salty and a bit spicy a little bit spicy which you'd expect from zinger chicken so that's good Yippee! i'm worried that bit there's going to fall um but have a look there guys there it is it's got pieces of chicken in a nice tasty gravy. It's not too bad actually. 
I don't mind it at the moment anyway. It is hot though, very hot. Trouble is when you hold it like that and you get to the bottom, all the meat goes down to the bottom and it tends to fall out and it can burn your fingers. When I was in high school, we used to buy pies from a canteen and in the winter time I remember it happening. Very similar. So the, the outside pastry is exactly like your good old Aussie meat pie. Um, but the inside's a little different. It's sort of like a, if you've had the 4 and 20 chicken pies, that's what I'd sort of liken it to. But obviously there's no peas or vegetables in there as well. And sort of the gravy's not quite as white in colour. Um, but the chicken texture is very similar. And I like the, um, the bit of spice that I'm getting. So that's good. Mmm. That was hot. That burnt my mouth. So guys, just put a comment below if you've tried this. Put a comment below and let us know what you thought of it. Uh, I think there's about four subscribers said, hey, can you try it? So look, we, we have. So thank you for suggesting that. Um, but it's actually not too bad. Um, and like I said, you can get the pie and the chips for five bucks, which is not a bad deal. Uh, before 4 p.m. Uh, we ordered this on the app, but I believe you can get it just if you just go through the drive-through or front up at the counter and order it. Order it. Um, so uh, that's pretty good. All right. So what we're going to do now? We're going to polish these bad boys off, and we're going to come back and we're going to give you guys a rating out of 10. So sit tight. <laughs> we're back on deck back in the car and the zinger pies are gone uh, and what did we think well I don't think they were anything unusual you know, if you're from Australia a pie is a pie and you can get a chicken pie a beef pie whatever pie and it's a pie but it was done well for a pie so I thought the pastry on top was nice and crispy and flaky um, it was nice and soft um, on the bottom which I really like um, which was great. The taste of the Zinger chicken filling I thought was pretty good. I'm still getting a bit of spice um, in my mouth, which I like. It's Zinger, so there, there you go. That's that's good KFC. Um, so all in all, a pretty good package, and I like the deal too, the chips and the pie for five bucks. I think that's a really good deal. Make sure you put a comment below on that, guys. Um, but like I said, it's nothing out of the ordinary for me. I was hesitant to try it, but I'm glad I did because look, it was okay. So I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. So, what are you going to give it, mate? Uh, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 as well. Yep, yep. I think it was good, mm -hmm. but if it wasn't as hot, mm, that's a good it point. would have been better. Yeah, and I was just thinking about it, and Charlie and I were talking before that we reckon that if you got it and just sat it on the, on the bench for 15 minutes, it'd cool down to an ideal temperature so you can eat it. Just beware, don't go munching into them things because they'll burn your mouth. My mouth is burnt now and I was trying to take it careful. But you've got a point and I don't know, it might be for health reasons. KFC can't sell them. You know, they've got to keep them at a certain temperature, which is fair enough. But, you know, look, if you're not too hungry, just wait 15 minutes and cool it down. Uh, did you say what you were going to give it? Yes. You did. I forgot. There you go. Seven and seven, wasn't it? Yep. There you go. So seven out of ten. Good score from KFC. Another solid product. Um, and, yeah, pretty reasonable price. Five ninety five for the pie. But like I said, if you get the chips with it, that's better. All right, guys. Hope you like the review. And to those subscribers that requested the Zinger pie, there it is. And thank you for requesting that. We really like those requests. So keep them coming through. And we'll do them where we can. Thanks for watching again. Like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell below if you haven't because you'll get notified when we upload a new video because we really want to catch you next time on Door TV. Woo! Good night. Lights out.